Is the firmament real? Well, sit back and relax, turn up your ears and your eyes on full. This is Nebi with another tantalizing tale. We're going to call this flying flutter the firmament fragment. Now, have you ever seen this before? Because science wishes it hadn't. Now, I want to remind you all about this particular very mysterious find not such a long time ago and the controversy that surrounds it still to this day. Named the Sky Stone, to be precise, was found in 1990 in an old village outside of Freetown, Sierra Leone. This odd type of blue coloured matter, let's say, was discovered by a geologist and archaeologist called Angelo Petoni. He was in Sierra Leone, West Africa, to verify if a certain region of the country known as Kono, or Kono, was indeed a rich deposit full of diamonds that could be exploited by the company that had hired him and sought to obtain the concession of exploitation in exchange for building a number of houses for their government. Now, during one blistering hot day, studying the region, Petoni was shown one of the most mysterious stones he had ever come across in his entire career. This was a magical blue stone with mysterious crystal white lines on its surface. He was taken aback, amazed, perplexed, drawn to its beauty, like the briefcase in the movie Pulp Fiction. Whatever was inside, when you see its beauty, something takes a hold of you. So of course, he sent the mysterious stone to be investigated at several laboratories around the plane. It was sent to the universities of Geneva, Rome, Utrecht, Tokyo and Freiburg in Germany. The results were all the same folks. What this thing is made up of shouldn't and doesn't exist. So where did it come from? Very mysteriously, at the University of Utrecht in Netherlands, the stone underwent several tests with acids, but none of the acids had managed to damage or modify the stone. It was even heated to 3000 degrees Celsius and its composition wasn't altered in the slightest. The most interesting part is when a small piece of the stone was pulverized and then viewed under microscope, it had no color whatsoever. So further tests were performed by several more laboratories. The sky stone underwent X-ray analysis plasma spectrometry, gas chromatography, mass spectrometry, and finally, infrared spectrometry, all yielding many more mysterious results that left the scientists even more baffled and clueless to when they first started to test it. But each and every single one of them had agreed to one fact. The stone had not originated on Earth. The sky stone, folks, does not exist anywhere in nature. And I mean anywhere. Its composition was found to be composed of 77% oxygen, yet harder and stronger than diamond, the strongest metal known to mankind along with traces of carbon and silicone and calcium and sodium. All the experts agreed that the blue fragment was not similar to any type of stone or material known. So the consensus was it must be artificial and its blue color is artificial too. The fascinating fact folks, science is still stunned. To this day, 28 years later, science is still baffled and has not got the answer for it. They just sweep it under the carpet, as the saying goes, out of sight, out of mind. Myself now, and maybe you do, 
Even the Italian geologist at the time believed that this was an extraordinary object, a gorgeous, strange crystal which resembles a pure turquoise colour, a beautiful, perfect sea colour. Science analysis performed on, let's call it the stone of heaven, if you will, revealed just how different it really is from any other material or matter known to any man or woman on this plain earth. Now, where is this mysterious stone located today? Where is it hiding? Who knows? Is it part of the actual firmament above? Maybe the Flat Earth Johnsons had part of it in their collection of proofs that was mysteriously burnt down. <clears throat> we may never know. Nonetheless, I would still love to see it and hold it for myself. Wouldn't you? The chemical composition of the material and its molecular formula will always remain a mystery and very much unknown to testable 2018 contemporary science. I mean, how can oxygen make up a stone, folks? Totally, totally amazing. Just what is this blue fragment? The waters above found in the 90s and the waters below found in the 90s.